Welcome into the Shadow Six Justice YouTube channel. I am the Shadow. Today I want to talk to you specifically about the Delphi murders and the time frame of the crime and the time flow here within the crime to the murders. And I want to specifically talk about two witness statements that were made by Flannel Shirt Guy who said he saw a Bridge Guy pass him at 250 and head out towards the Freedom Bridge. And the arguing couple, the male in the arguing couple, who says Bridge Guy stepped out of the woods and onto the trail and passed him at 315 headed towards Freedom Bridge. Now, we know that these two statements here, they contradict what is going on at the crime scene here at the time because we know the killer stayed at the crime scene until 330. The crime was not completed the crime of murder was not completed until 3.30, okay? And then the killer still stays at the crime scene afterwards to do the signatures and then to clean up the crime scene before he leaves the crime scene area. So the killer would not have left the crime scene area until 3.45 to 3.50, leaving from that area. So how then... Does Bridge Guy go past Flannel Shirt Guy and the male subject the in the arguing couple at those times of 2.50 and 3.15? There's only one way possible that this could occur. So, and I do believe that Flannel Shirt Guy, his statement that he made is true. So, there's only one way that this could occur. And that is that Bridge Guy was the Roundup Guy. And after he took the girls down the bridge on the south end and down the hill and went over to the creek, the reason why he crossed the creek was because there was another suspect over in the kill zone area waiting for him there he then takes them over there and these two suspects then commit the crime and the flannel shirt guy statement would be correct here if this was the case now the two suspects are over there and the bridge guy is over there with the other suspect Bridge Guy leaves the crime scene area early because not only is he the roundup guy, he is also the decoy. And he leaves and goes back out through the trail system headed towards Freedom Bridge because there's no other reason why a suspect would take the longest way out and go back on the trail where everybody's at unless he was a decoy to pull anyone who might have seen him take the girls off the bridge away from the crime scene area here. So not only is the bridge guy, the roundup guy, who kidnaps him off the bridge, but he is also the decoy. So now, the only way that this is possible is if there is two suspects. So, the there is two suspects. This was a premeditated, planned murder. And there are two suspects. The one on the bridge, which is which I believe that this suspect 
the bridge guy is between 40 and 50 years old and the younger suspect is between 18 to 20 years old now now both suspects were involved in the murder and participated in the murder now the two sketches are of two different individuals two suspects we are looking for two suspects in the Delphi murders at this time and the two sketches I believe them to be accurate I will repeat that I believe the two sketches are accurate that the police have put out to the public we are looking for two suspects the older man that was the bridge guy on the bridge and the younger man who is also a suspect who participated in the murders both men participated in the murders now this explains the time flow here the problem with the time flow of the crime it also explains the two sketches here and that these two different sketches here are of two different individuals who are both suspects within the crime to the Delphi Indiana uh, girls murder now something else I wanted to say here was that uh, this deal about him bridge guy leaving out through the trail system here this explains why he went that way because he was the decoy uh, he goes out one way of the trail system and the other suspect here leaves and exits through the cemetery and they're both going out two different separate ways from the crime scene area here to create confusion to confuse the police uh, and make it more difficult for the crime to be solved as well as give themselves time and give themselves uh, two different time stamps of when the two were leaving the area and they were both leaving the area separately so this creates more confusion within the acts of committing the crime now the suspects they do this to create more confusion within the crime so that hopefully the police won't figure out what's going on within the crime and um, to also kind of give themselves um, a way out in two different uh, time frames and possibly um, connect themselves with anyone else they could at the crime scene area to give themselves an alibi so now we are looking for two suspects within the Delphi murders two suspects that were involved in the Delphi Indiana girls' murder now I am basing my assumption here which I believe I am correct that there are two suspects within the murder here because of flannel shirt guy his statement and the arguing couple the male him saying that he saw bridge guy pass him at 315 flannel shirt guy says he saw him pass him at 250 now the only way the bridge guy could pass both of those witnesses within doing the crime here is if there were two suspects involved in the murders I am the shadow like share and subscribe thank you for watching